Father, we bless your name this morning. We thank you for a day like this. Thank you for today is 26th of July 2020. So many died last year. So many even cross over to this year. So many saw this month. By this morning, they are nowhere to be found. But by your grace, you have given us life. Yes. By your grace, you have sustained us to this level. Yes, Lord. We say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Now we can see the scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4, that said the living dog is better than a dead lion. For sure. Lord, we want to appreciate you because your word said in Psalm 150, verse 6, let every living soul praise you. Adonai. Father, we praise you this morning. We, we worship you because you are mighty. We worship you because there is none to compare with you. We worship you for a day, a moment, an hour like this. Oh, we bless your name. We we'll give you praise because you are the mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. God bless you, brethren. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening wherever you are. My name, uh, my name is Prophet Williams Onoha. We are live this morning from Galilee Christian Center. I am Pastor Caroline, Mama Galilee. Oh. God bless you. God bless Today you. This is another Sunday, mm. another day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Because we are alive in the land of the living. Thank to you. To see the last Sunday of the month of July. Hallelujah. Great privilege that Amen. we have come to appreciate his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, I want you to be happy wherever you are. The psalmist said in Psalm 20, 34, verse 20, verse 1, Psalm 34, verse 1, 
David said, I will praise God at all times. Mm. In every situation that we find ourselves, it's our duty to praise Him. Yes. It's our duty to glorify His name. That is what God desires from us. Yes. That is what He requires from every one of us yes. that is watching this program. This Sunday morning. I, I want you to tell you, because the Bible says in Psalm 30, verse 5, that tears may flow in the night, joy but in joy the cometh in the morning. I believe that joy has finally come this morning. Amen. If you believe that, let me hear your biggest amen. amen. This week is a special week to us. We, the Galileans, the family of Galilee, yes. the family of light. Especially today. Today is a special day. Today is always been our garden of the saints. Yes. Every today could have been the life. grand finale of this garden of the saints, 2020. 2020. But in all, we give God praise. Yes. In all, we thank Him. We thank God. And also, the Galileans all over the world, those watching this morning, I want you to give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. I want you to bless Him because you are alive. Jesus. Because you saw last year, 2019, Gathering of the Saints, and you have lived to see today. Yes. It's a great testimony. Yes. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you gathering Lord. of the Saints is not just an ordinary gathering. The Lord told me that was 2008. I heard it clearly from the Lord. I was in Spain. I was watching a program titled Garden of the Champions. And the Lord spoke to me that I should stop watching this. I, I, I don't even, I can't even understand. He said, stop watching this. I heard it clearly from my, stop watching this. And the Lord told me that champions don't end forever. Mm. Champions, they have season. You can be champion today, another, another person, person will take it from you. But he said that sense reign forever. Yes, they abide in the throne. Yes. The kingdom. He said sense reign forever. If you read the book of Psalm 16, you will see it clearly, Psalm 16 verse 3, I think. Psalm 16 verse 3. I want to read fast for you this morning. You will see about the sense. You will see what the Lord is speaking, saying about us. Psalm 16 verse 1 said, Preserve me, O God, for you I put my trust. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. Verse 3 said, As for the saints who are on the earth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. As for the saints who are on the earth, they are the excellent Ooh. ones in whom is all my delight. delight. Hallelujah. We are the excellent Ooh. ones. Hallelujah. We are the excellent ones. Mm -hmm. And if you read the scripture in the book of Psalm 50, there's something I want to show you this morning. Psalm 50. It talks about the saints, hallelujah, saints mm -hmm. of God. Psalm 50 says, let us see from verse 1. It said, the mighty one, God, the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun, mm. from the rising of the sun to its going down. down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, mm. God will shine forth. forth. Hallelujah. Amen. God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. Amen. Our God shall come mm. and shall not keep what? Silent. silent. A fire shall devour before, before him. Glory. And it shall be very what? Temptious. And all around him. Yes. He called all the heavens from above. And to the earth that he may judge his people. Mm. Verse 5 is what I'm taking you. Say, gather my saints together. together to me. Gather my saints. That is what the Lord spoke. The place, the verse, and the quotation the Lord gave to me 2008. Say, gather my saints together to me. Gather my saints together to me. Hallelujah. Mm. Those who have made covenant with me my by sacrifice. sacrifice. Those who have made covenant. That is the time we come to make covenant mm. by sacrifice. What is sacrifice? Something that costs you. Yes. You can say that I sacrifice my time. Yes. You know the, how precious your time is for you. Yes. You can sacrifice something that you value. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 22. The Lord said to Abraham. Abraham and Abraham answered him. He said, now take your son, your only son. Isaac, whom you love, God made it clear and for Abraham to have a change of mind. 
He called it in a, he elaborated it very well. He made it so that Abraham will see and begin to think, how can I give this thing? He said, Abraham, take your son. The Bible said that God tested Abraham. This is the time we come. The Galileans will come when to sacrifice to God. Mm. God tested us to, to, for us to give something because whatever we are giving belongs to him. Yes. We are coming to give back what he has given to us yes. in appreciation yes. to show that we are loyal and grateful, and grateful to the Most High. Thank you, Father, for that. <coughs> This is how it works. Thank you, Lord. God said to Abraham, take your only son whom you love, Isaac. Go to one of the mountains, I shall tell you. Go and sacrifice him here. That is sacrifice. You can see that it cost Abraham. Yes. I don't know how long Abraham, Abraham was troubled with his spirit and everything. And Lord said, go and sacrifice this. You know how long Abraham had been, waited for to have a son. Even before he was given Isaac, yes. God tested him by telling him to circumcise himself. That's what they call sacrifice. Yes. Sacrifice is something that you, 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 it will be like as if is. I don't know how to put it. But God said to Abraham, take this young man, go and do this. This is the time we normally come. We Galileans will come to sacrifice to God. We we'll come to present to God. And that is the time you hear prophecies. Mm. Because when we give to God, God will speak to us. Yes. Because the Bible tells us in the book of Psalm 126, verse 5, that those who sow in tears, they will reap in joy. We come when we give to God, we have confidence, we have boldness to ask and to speak. And we believe make that. Make a request. Make a request. Yes. Because the Bible also said it in the book of Job, chapter 22. Look at what he said there. Job. Job. 22, if you are there, look at it. Job chapter yeah. 22, from verse 23, said, If you return to the Almighty, Almighty. you will be built up again. You will remove iniquity far from your tents. Then you will, then lay, you will lay your gold in the, in the dust. dust. And the Almighty, and the, said, and the gold of offer. offer among the stones of brooks. Verse 25, Yes, the Almighty will be your gold. When you do this test, God will become your silver. source. The Almighty will be your God and your precious lever. 26. For then you will have your delight, delight in the Lord, Almighty. in the Almighty, and lift up your face to God. 27 is what I'm taking you. You make your prayers to him, to him and he will answer you. And you will pay your vows. Wow. Hallelujah. This is when we will come, we will pay our vows. Yes. We come, we are going to give this, we are going to give that. You can see last year, some people offered 10 cows, uh, more than that. Some yeah, gave, that. gave, and verse 28. And they said, you also declare what? A thing. You also de declare a thing. And it shall and be established, established for, for you. you. So light will shine on your ways. ways. That is how it works. Hallelujah. When we come... We we'll give to God, we will now declare a thing, we we'll speak and we we'll prophesy. That's our message today. We want to tell you the role of a prophet, that every one of us need a prophet. If you are following this message this morning, you need a prophet in your life. This is not something I know how to pray. Yes, everybody, God made it that everyone will know how to pray. But you need a seer. You need a prophet. You need somebody where you ask questions, where you seek answers. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody, no king without a prophet, and no Igwem without a Zemo. That is something I want to put you through this morning. That you need a prophet in your life to succeed. Sure. It's not just to preach. It's just it's a something that everybody must get it very clear. If you want to climb, if you want to go higher, you need a seer. If you want to make it, you need a prophet. Of course. You need somebody to speak into your life. Yes. You need somebody to direct your path. Yes. You need somebody to ask questions. Should I do this or not? Then you did it. 
Yes. If you read book of Numbers, book of Chronicles, you, you, you will see something there. Book of Chronicles chapter 21. I think verse 9. I want you to see Chronicles 21 verse 9. That's something I would like you to see this morning. Chronicles, First Chronicles. First Chronicles 21 verse 9. Are you there? Oh, yeah. Look at what he said. First Chronicles. Okay, read from verse 8, but I'm taking you to First verse 9. Chronicles chapter 20. 1 verse 9. Let me read from verse okay. 7. So yes. David said to God, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. But now, but now I pray. Take away the iniquities of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. foolishly. Verse 9. Then the Lord spoke to God. David what? Seer. Yeah. Say it. The Lord said to God, David seer. Saying. Saying. Go and tell David, okay. saying. God says the Lord. Okay. I offer you three things. Okay. Choose one of them for okay. yourself. That I may do it to you. Hallelujah. 11. So God came to David and said to him, mm -hmm. God says the Lord, choose for you, for, for yourself, yourself, either three, three years, years of famine, famine okay. or three, three months to, to be, be defeated, defeated by, by your foes with the sword okay. of your enemies mm -hmm. overtaking you, mm -hmm. or else for, for three, three days, days the, sword, in the sword of the Lord. The Lord. That then the, the, the plague. plague in the land with the Angels. angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the territory of, of Israel. Israel. Now, now consider what answer should I should take back to him who sent me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Should I, 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 I should take back to him who, who do what? sent me as a seer. As a seer. And a the seer, mark piece, mark of, piece God. of God. Yes. He's not on a, his a own. Messenger. He's a messenger. Covenant yes, messenger. A, a priest. A priest. A high priest. Yes. Covenant messenger. Look this. at what he said. Uh, 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 verse 13. 13. And David said to God, I am in great distress, right? Yes. Please let me fall into the, the hand, hand of, of the Lord, Lord, for his mercies are great. very great. But do not let me fall into the hand of man. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. That's everybody need a seer. If you read the Bible very well, you will see even when David is sinned against God mm -hmm. by sleeping with somebody's wife, mm -hmm. the wife of Uriah, Bathsheba. God now said who? Nathan. Yes, David the has two prophets. God now sent Nathan to go and speak to David. Prophets are the ones that are fearless. Of course. They don't even care how you will say it. They don't compromise. If you read the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 16. I want you to get it now before I will... Ezekiel 3, 16. Ezekiel the Lord 3, said... 16. Yes. Ezekiel yeah. 3, 16. Read for me. Ezekiel 3, 16. Now yeah. it came to pass. Now it came to pass. At the end of seven days. Okay. That the word, word of, of the, the Lord, Lord came to me saying, yes. Son of man, mm -hmm. I have made you a watchman for the house of, of Israel. Israel. I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore hear a word from my mouth. Hear a word from my mouth. And give them warning from me. Give them warning from me. 18. When I say to the wicked, mm -hmm. you shall surely die. Yes. And you give him no, no warning. warning. Mm -hmm. Nor speak to one the wicked. Uh -huh from his wicked way yes. to save his life mm -hmm. that same wicked man will die shall die mm -hmm. in his iniquity uh -huh. but his blood will be required at your hand hallelujah should i continue? go ahead mm -hmm. 19 yet if you want the wicked mm -hmm. and he does not turn from his wickedness okay. nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity mm -hmm. but you have delivered your soul hallelujah Amen. that's the reason why even in our ministry, in our calling, we speak the way we say it. We don't compromise. We tell you, look, that says the Lord of hosts. Because God said, I've made you a seer in the house of Israel. Yes. Every prophet. But how do you know a true prophet? Is another thing. Everybody wants to answer prophet. And today you will see the majors of prophet because the way people are living. 
the way the so-called prophets are living their lives. But in all, if you read the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, it said God knows his people. Yes. God knows the people he called. People, a true prophet, when he goes astray, God will strike him. Of her. course, by their fruit we shall know them. Yes, are you getting it? A prophet in Deuteronomy chapter 18, from verse 18 to 22, he said, how you know a true prophet? He will speak, thou says the Lord, yes, and it shall, shall come, come to, to pass. pass. Hallelujah, somebody. That's to know a prophet. And whenever God wants to do something, he always send a prophet. If God wants to destroy a nation, if God wants to put people down, he will always send a prophet. If you read the book of Numbers chapter 22, there's something that will marvel there from verse 2. I mean, Numbers 22. If you are there, I want you to get it. Numbers chapter 22. Are you there? Almost. Numbers 22. Let me read for you. Numbers 22. Numbers 22, yeah, I'm here. Okay. I want us to read from verse 2. From verse 2. Yes. Okay. Now Balak, the son of Zippo, Zippo. saw so, all oh. that Israel had done mm -hmm. to the Amorites. Amorite, yes. Three. And, and Moab, Moab was, was exceedingly afraid of the people because there were many. Mm -hmm. And Moab was sick with dread, dread because, because of, of the children of Israel. Israel. So, so Moab said to the elders, elders of Midian, Midian now this, cannot, this, this company, this great, this company, right? This company will lift, lift up off. everything around us, as an ox lick, as an ox lick up the grass yes. of the field. Mm -hmm. And Balak the son of Zophos was king of the Moabites Moab. at that time. Mm -hmm. Five. Then he sent messengers, messengers to Balaam the son of Bar mm -hmm. at Petor, mm -hmm. which is near the river in the land of the sons of his, his people, people, to, to call, call him, him, saying, "Look, a people, a people has, has come, come from Egypt, Egypt. to a people have come from, from Egypt. Egypt. See. See, they cover the face of the earth, mm -hmm. and are a settling, settling next, next to, to me. me. Mm -hmm. Six. Therefore, please come, come at, at once." once. Cross these, these people, people for me, me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps, Perhaps I, shall I shall be able, be able to, to defeat them and, and drive them, them out of the land. Uh -huh. For I know that he whom you bless, bless. is blessed, yes. and, whom and he whom you curse is cursed. Is cursed. Okay, hallelujah. That hallelujah. is the role of a prophet. God gives them authority. When they bless nations, they are blessed. Mm. When they bless people, they are so blessed. Obvious. When they curse people, they are cursed. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. And how it the, the release cause they cause nations they cause village they cause individual and they bless also. Mm. That's the work of a prophet. Where you get it very well in the book of Jeremiah, chapter one. If you read from verse four, but from verse nine to ten, you will see the authority God given to a prophet, how to cause, how to destroy, how to pull, how to do whatever. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter one verse four. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Jeremiah 1 4. Yes. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, uh -huh. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Okay. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet, prophet. to the nations. Nations. Hallelujah. 6. Then yes, said uh, I, uh -huh. Lord, behold, I cannot speak for I am a youth. Okay. 7. But the Lord said to me, Do, Do not, not say, say I am a youth. youth. For, For you, you shall, go. shall go to all to whom I sent you. Hallelujah. I want you to get this place now. You, 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 the Lord said, before you were born, I knew you. you. And I've satisfied you to be what? A prophet to the nation. Yes. Not just prophet of the nation of Israel. Mm. Nations. 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 That's Hallelujah. The whole, world. The, the whole world. And they said, then said I, Jeremiah now speaking. Ah, I said, ah, Lord, God. Behold, I cannot speak, speak, for I am a youth. When it comes to a prophet, they always have something that disqualifies them. Yeah, shortcomings. They have shortcomings. Every prophet. If you read the book of Isaiah, you will see Isaiah chapter 6. You will see from verse 5, Isaiah said, I am doomed. Yes. How can a sinful man like Let me, me see, the Lord. see the Lord? The Lord now touched his mouth and said, your duty has been taken away. Oh, Lord. If you read the book of Ezekiel, Chapter 2 from verse 2. Ezekiel saw the Lord when God was speaking to him. He said he was trembling yes, and was his shaking. leg was shaking. Yes. That he, he said, Who am I to see this? 
That's a role of a prophet. If we read book of Judges, chapter 6, from verse 12, you will see one God called Gideon. And God said, you Gideon, you great man of valor. Yeah. And Gideon said, how can you call me? Great man, when my father served. When my father served so I do. And I came from the least tribe of oh, Israel. Oh, Lord. Well, I am here hiding myself. Oh, the always prophet always comes from the least where you never expected. expected. Even Moses okay. was a stammerer. stammerer. He Moses. said he cannot speak. God said, I will send your brother Aaron. Aaron, to be your spokesman. Yes. Hallelujah. If you read very well, you will see that all the prophets that God called, they have something that disqualified them. Elijah the, was a hot tempered man. Okay. All these ones look at the, 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 their lives and what they do. A true prophet is like that. They have something that disqualifies them. They have something that makes them that you will see them. You say this one is not qualified to be this. Look at David. Okay. Look at the in, list. You know, in Israel, whenever you have been anointed in the office of a king, you have this spirit of a prophet. Yes. If you read the Bible very well in the book of First Samuel, chapter 9, you will see. The, the, the walk there, the book of First Samuel. We are going back to the book of Jeremiah. Yeah. The book of First Samuel, chapter 9. If you, if you see that Saul and his servant, they were looking for their father's donkey yes. for days. And Saul said, let us go back, verse 4, mm -hmm. that my father will cease caring for the donkey. And also kept Became taking wor worried worried about about us. Verse 6 of that place, the, 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 the servant of Saul said, that is a highly anointed, anointed man. man, a prophet, a seer. A honorable man. Let us go. A man of God. Whatever he says, come, come to, to pass. pass. That is where I am taking you now. Hallelujah. Whatever he says, come to pass. Let us go to him. He may tell us our way. Oh. Anytime you are wandering in the wilderness, some people are moving in Lagos, some people are in, in a city, in London, in America, but they are falling up and down. They are in the wilderness, spiritually, yes. physically. Maybe they did not seek. They cannot find it because of what? They need somebody to direct them. Yes. They need a prophet to speak into their life. The Bible tells us that this man, they were moving up and down. The man of, the, the servant said, there is a man who is highly respected. Everything he says come to pass. That's to show you how to know a prophet. The Lord said, they will speak, that says the Lord. And, and it shall, shall come, come to, pass. to pass. And the Bible also tells us, I want us to read that place. Yeah. In book of First Samuel chapter 9. Yeah. First Samuel chapter 9, read from verse 6. From verse 6. <coughs> yes. Let me start from 5. Okay. When they had come to the land of Zoph, mm -hmm. Saul said to his servant who was with him, mm -hmm. Come, let us return, lest my father cease caring about the donkey and yes. became worried about us. Okay. Six. And he said to him, Look now, there is in this city a man of God, mm -hmm. and he is an honorable man. Yes. All that he says surely comes to pass. So let us go there. Perhaps he can show us the way that we should go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Seven. Then Saul so said to his servant, mm -hmm. But look, if we go, what shall we bring to the man? Mm -hmm. For the bread in our vessel is all gone, mm -hmm. and there is no percent to bring to the man of God. Mm -hmm. What do we have? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Eight. And his servant answered, answered Saul again and said, Look, I have here at hand one fourth of a shekel of silver. Mm -hmm. I will give that to the man of God to tell us our way. Mm -hmm. Nine. Formerly in the in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, mm -hmm. he spoke to us, "Come, let us go to the seer." Okay, he I want you to read it very well. That place. Okay, mm -hmm. nine. He said, "Formerly in in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, mm -hmm. he spoke to us, let us go to the seer.'" Mm -hmm. For he who is now called a prophet was formerly called a seer. Mm -hmm. He who is now called a prophet is called what? He was formerly called a, a seer. seer. Okay. Ten. Then Saul said to his servant, mm -hmm. well, well said, come let us go 
So they went to the city where the man of God was. As they went up the hill to the city, they met some young women mm -hmm. going out to draw water and said to them, Is the seer here? Mm -hmm. Twelve. And they answered and said to and said, Yes, there is there he is just ahead of you. Hurry now, for today is come to the city because there is a sacrifice of the people today mm. on the high place. Hallelujah. Amen. The, 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 the prophet is a seer. And that is what you did. If you read very well, go, going down, you from verse 14 of that, uh, 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 Samuel said to Saul, you will not become the next king of Israel. They were looking for donkey. Mm. But they never knew that God was preparing a message mm. for them. A message of kingship. Mm. A message of greatness. Hallelujah, somebody. And if you read, the, you see that a prophet is a seer. A prophet is somebody that tells you what will happen. There is something I want to show you in the book of 2 Kings this morning. That will marvel you. In 2 Kings chapter 8. 2 Kings chapter 8 from verse 8. I want us to read from verse 7. 2 Kings. Yes. Chapter 8, 8 from verse 7. Okay. Then Elisha went to Damascus, right? Okay. Are you there? Mm, yes, yes, yes. Read for me. Second Kings 8, 7. Yes. Then Elisha went to Damascus. Uh -huh. And Behada, Behada king the king of, of Syria, Syria, was sick. sick. And it was told to him, saying, The, the man, man of, of God, God has come here. here. Mm -hmm. Eight, and let the king say to Gehazi, and the king Hazard, said to the Hazar, take to Hazar, mm -hmm. take a, a present, present in, in your, your hand and, and go, go to meet the man, man of God, God and inquire of, of the, the Lord, Lord by him, saying, Shall, shall I, I recover, recover from, from the disease? This disease? Mm -hmm. So Hazar went to meet, meet him, him and, and took a present of every good thing. Of Damascus. Of every good thing of Damascus. Forty, Forty camel loads. And he came and stood before him and said, Your son, Behada, king of Syria, has sent me to you, saying, Shall I recover from this disease? Mm -hmm. Verse 10. ten. <laughs> and Elisha said to him, Go, Go say to him, mm -hmm. You shall certainly, certainly recover. recover. However, However, the, the Lord, Lord has shown me that he will, will really, really die. die. Okay. Then he set his countenance in a stair until he was, he was ashamed. ashamed. And, and the, the man, man of God, God wept. Read verse 12. Huh? And Hazel said, Why is my Lord weeping? weeping. He, he answered, Because I know the, the evil, evil that you, you will, will do to the, to the children, children of Israel. Israel. He, the they are so ghosts you will set on fire oh, and their young men you will kill with a sword and you will dash their children and rip up rip o open, open their, their womb women or their, of, open up their women with child. child open up the womb of their women with, with child, child. okay so has so said, said but what is your servant I said, what is your servant, a dog, mm. that he should do this result thing? thing? And Elisha answered, the Lord has shown me that you would be coming king of Syria. Mm, over Syria. Over Syria. And th th this is what I'm trying to say now. He came also for another person. Another person. And the, the man of God now began to tell him, you are going to be king. The man of God now began to cry. That is exactly what happened. Three years ago, I think a few years ago, 2014, by this time, the service yes. was going on. I prophesied, that was 2014. 20, 2014. 2014. 2014. Okay. 2014, July, we have a program gathering of research. I prophesied and told them that good luck is going to lose the election. Yes. And I see Buhari taking over the government. Mm -hmm. You say you had the sound of handover. Handover. Mm -hmm. That's and what I said. you see good luck having problems problem with Jiga. That I see Buhari taking over. And then I see killings. All people over. with the Babariga. Yes. Killing a lot of people. Yes. And I begin to ask God, say why? The Lord said, pray for Buhari to take over. Yes. 
the Lord said to me, pray for Buhari to take over. That is going to be so wicked to my people. You oh, my Lord. My God, my God, my God. The Lord said, that is going to be too wicked. There are going to be so much killings in the land. You said it. That this is oh, going Lord. to be, I don't know how to put it, that the government will be evil. That his government is going to be, that he has nine lives. Is that what I said there? You said it. That whoever that is putting a super job to take over from him, is that it, is going, is it's not going to happen. Yes. That even if he dies, that is going to be nine lives. Oh, glory <laughs> to Jesus. This is confirmation of prophecy. And today what we are hearing, Buhari is dead. What? We, we are hearing Jibri. Okay. We are hearing this one. Okay. This is the prophecy you gave 2014. That the Lord said he have nine lives. Right. If anyone is expecting him to die, uh, that that person is making you Okay. Sick. And the reason why I said he will have nine lives. said, the Lord said Osubanjo can never be president. You said it. Because of what? The wife of Osubanjo came from a lawyer of somebody that hates the Igbos. I want to tell somebody now, anybody that hates Igbos will suffer. Yes. Because we are the children of the Most High. Yes. Igbos are special people. Any family, politicians that hate us, watch out and see how their descendant will be. Oh Lord. Is it I, 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 I said that is going to be that Osubanjo will not be president. Look at how it's going to be. That even if he dies, that I see nine lives. I, 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 I want somebody to pay attention to this. I want the media team to make, grab something from what I'm going to say now. And this is exactly what is happening. That is going to be wicked to our people. There are going to be so much killings. And these killings will result and my people, the world will now say, let my people go. That is what I said. 2014. July, by this time, the prophecy was going on. You say you saw rape. They were raping women. I said they were raping women, yes. killing people like yes. goats. You said it, my love. Oh, oh my Jesus. Thank I you. see them killing people like goats, putting it. knife you in their throat. You see where they massacre people, butcher people, pieces people. Like goats. That, oh God, that hell's road. Yes. You saw them beheading people. Be beheading people. Even raping they are men raping men, men. Raping, raping fellow men. Yes, forcefully. Forcefully. And they were asking them, you must join. If you don't want to join, they kill them. You know, that is what I said 2014. That Buhari will take power. And that 2015 election, I prayed for him to take power. I knew that a day like this will come. I knew that it's going to be wicked to my people. And the Lord told me, this is the only thing that will give my people the exit they desire. This is the only thing that will make my people to leave. That is the prophecy I'm talking about. That is the work of a prophet. A prophet is not just to preach and tell you that somebody put a poison. No. A seer is somebody that sees tomorrow and tell you what will happen. Last year in our prophecy, by this time last year I released a prophecy. And I told the church, if you go through 2020 prophecy, I said, there's a government that will come. And look at what this government will do. There's a policy. The policy they're going to put up that will affect, affect the church. Is you know what is happening today? Yes, my lord. Look at in Lagos. All the markets in Lagos State, you can't control the crowd there. But this government swore that they don't want to see church. But I have a message for the, the present governor. The what is the name of this uh Showolu? So, so so yes. I'm sorry for you. So all you, the Lord said I should speak to you. Because you and your clique and cabals, you decided to fight the house of the Lord. Where people go, they have joy. They forget their sorrow because of the evil government. They go home with full of expectation. You want people to start to register again. You want people, you went and closed the house of God. Your generation shall be closed. Right? That the plague that will come upon you, the governor of Lagos State, that is the message. I, Prophet William Sonoha, if I be a servant of God, you will see. And the Lord said, five years' time, Lagos will be empty. In five years' time, this is 2020. Lagos is going to be empty. 
I see people packing their loads, carrying their boss, leaving Lagos, and so shall it be. Because of the wickedness in this land, because this is a city of darkness, because of the hatred upon my people, Lagos from now to five years, Lagos is going to be empty. And you will know there is a prophet in the land. I prayed for Buhari to take power. I know he's going to kill my people. But I know that it will make my people to go. There is joy, happiness going on in the realm of spirit. If you are from the east, every night begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Our people is about to leave. And we are living with joy. And I said last year, and I said in a few years, that there's nobody that can repair this country again. No Jupiter. Look at what is going on. Look at even the National Assembly. Look at what is what they're doing with this COVID-19. They told us isolation or what, what do you call it? Uh, social distance. Look at what happened in the uh, National Assembly the other day. Somebody who is not a doctor, where the where country they said is a COVID-19, is killing so many people. You will see there's no social distance. They were sitting, the crowd was too much. And somebody went to put bare hand. hand in the mouth of somebody, they don't know whether it's COVID-19. Who are you deceiving? Oh, are you deceiving us? I see the message this morning. If anybody tells any man, if any politicians or a man of God, a pastor, telling us that in 2023 an Igbo man will become president, that person is an enemy of Igbos. We are not interested. The Lord said He's not interested. And we are not waiting for 2023. My people must leave. And something must happen this year, 2020. As the Lord liveth, this year, 2020. Something will happen. How it will happen, I don't know. My people must leave. And if anybody tells you 2023, that person is a fraud because there is a meeting that took place here immediately after the war. Never allow an evil man to rule. We know that one. God has shown it. And everybody, anyone telling us 2023 to come and do what? That one is over. What am I saying this morning? That every Man, people from the east to rejoice. I see celebration going on in the realm of spirit. That is what I said three years ago. And the Lord is repeating it now. The Lord said from now to 6th of October, there is a very big calamity that is going to fall upon this nation. You will see it and you will know. From now to 6th of October, a very big calamity. Something that will make the whole world to know that this country, nobody can repay it again. And the best option is to let our people go. And the politicians from the East, I pity for you people, I'm hearing Exodus twenty-two eighteen. Suffer not the witch to live, because you people are the witches and wizards. Soon, you people are going to be stoned to death. Every politician calling from House of Assembly member, Coming to an ex governor, contractors, the Lord said, Soon, any moment, you will see how the youth, people, is going to revoke. You will see how people are going to react. And they will stone you people to death because you people are evil. And everybody, man or woman watching, I want you to know that whatever that is going on, God is aware. Closing of the church, COVID-19 or whatever, God has used it to open the eyes of many. So many secrets have come out. God has revealed a lot of things. Those who are plotting to vaccinate or to do one thing or another is not going to work. Our people should know this time. Anyone speaking, telling you 2023 is not for us. This year, 2020, something is going to happen. Every secret in this nation must be revealed. People will know that true men of God here. And those that went to close church, close it and see, keep on going. 
you will know that no matter where you belong, you can't fight God. And also that true men of God here, and true women of God, when they speak, heaven speaks. All our people, Galileans, all over the world, I am speaking this hour, I'm prophesying to your lives, wherever you are. <coughs> that God Almighty is about to visit you. The Lord told me, even in the midst of this pandemic, you, children of Galilee, all over the world, because I am mandated and commanded to bless you this morning. Because I receive the word from God in the book of Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel said the Spirit took him to a valley that all...